Welcome to this edition of Marvell's Follow the Wire video series. In our prior videos, we talked at a high level about some of the key differentiators from Marvell QLogic Fiber Channel Host Bus Adapters. In this video, I want to drill down on one of those, which is the basic architecture of our HPA design that we call Port Isolation Technology. System administrators in charge of enterprise applications are typically held to very stringent service level agreement requirements. And now as such, they design their systems to deliver consistent and predictable performance, even under varying workloads. This need for reliable and predictable performance applies to all elements of the solution, including the storage systems and the storage network infrastructure. That's why Fiber Channel Storage Area Networks, or SANs, are designed for high availability with redundant paths throughout. For each server and storage array in the SAN, there are a minimum of two paths for data to flow back and forth. This requires redundant devices. Now, Fiber Channel HBAs need a minimum of two ports. Uh, that can be either two single port adapters or one dual port adapter. Uh, there are two sets of fiber channel switches or directors creating two separate SAN fabrics, the SAN A and SAN B as shown in the diagram here. And storage arrays have two controllers, and those controllers typically have multiple ports. This ensures that if any one connection were to fail, there's another path that the system can fail over to in order to keep data flowing and provide that predictable and consistent performance that its system administrators are looking for. Today, for the HPAs that are in the host servers, there are two major fiber channel suppliers with two very different design architectures. The port isolation architecture on the left, used in Marvell QLogic fiber channel HPAs, provides dedicated processor, memory, and driver resources for each and every port on the adapter. It's like flying a plane with multiple engines. If one engine fails, the others keep working. Now, the shared architecture design used by the other HBA vendors is on the right, and it utilizes an ASIC design that shares processor, memory, and driver resources across all the ports on the adapters. This is analogous to a single engine airplane. If there's a problem with the engine, it affects the entire plane. So which approach is better? Well, let's take a look inside these architectures. On the left here is the port isolated architecture of the QLogic HBAs. Each port has that dedicated processor memory and firmware resource. Uh, should an issue occur on one port, there's no impact to the other ports. This ensures a predictable per port performance for these HBAs, exactly what the enterprise application owners would expect. On the right is the architecture from the competitor offerings. You can see that the resources are shared among all ports. If there's an issue on one port, say a loop interrupt process storm or a lip storm, the processor resources need to be dynamically allocated to address that issue, potentially reducing the resources available for the other ports. This can lead to very unpredictable per port performance, which is less desirable. This unpredictability is highlighted on the competitor's data sheet. The product brief is from their website and states right under the performance subtitle that the Emulex dynamic multi-core architecture delivers unparalleled performance and the most efficient port utilization with eight processor cores that dynamically apply ASIC resources to any port that requires them. This reinforces the fact that these adapters use a central pool of resources that can be applied to any port that needs them, not exactly predictable. Predictable performance and reliability are designed into Marvell QLogic HBAs from the start. Each port on the adapter has dedicated resources, including processor memory and firmware, as I've said before. You're probably asking yourself why the QLogic design doesn't use the shared architecture approach. There are definitely advantages to the shared architecture for sure, like creating great performance and single port configurations where you have all that resources available to a single port, or perhaps it's less complex to design and reduce manufacturing costs. But as I said at the start, what system administrators are looking for from shared storage solutions 
is reliable and predictable performance. With the QLogic design, should an issue like a lip storm occur on port 1, there is no impact to the other ports on the adapter. They're completely isolated when it comes to processing I.O. data. This ensures very predictable performance, and this is the result that you just can't guarantee when all your resources are shared and are dynamically allocated within the adapter. To get more details on the port isolated architecture used in the Marvell QLogic Fiber Channel HBAs, go to marvell.com slash QLogic, uh, select any of the fiber channel adapters and look under documentation. Uh, you'll see this uh, tech brief on port isolation technology there. Or you can access the tech brief directly uh, using this direct link or the QR code shown here. Here's the portfolio of QLogic Fiber Channel HBAs. The QLogic QLE2690 series are single and dual port adapters that provide 16 gigabit connectivity. The QLE2770 series adapters provide 32 gig fiber channel connectivity and the QLE2870 series are our 64 gig fiber channel offerings. All these adapters are designed with dual port isolation architecture to ensure that your customers get predictable and reliable storage performance for their enterprise applications. For more information, go to www.marvell.com slash QLogic and you can find out all the details relating to the Marvell QLogic Fiber Channel HPA technology. And be sure to check out our other Follow the Wire videos on the Marvell YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in today and for your time and your attention. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.